Okay, so we are very fortunate to have Professor Neil O'Connor, our Head of Discipline for County and Finance. So he will share some of his experience and knowledge with all of us. So Welcome to Accounting for Managers. And how many of you are th you didn't enroll in a major of accounting, so what is your other major that you have enrolled in? How many of you so far are interested in accounting based on the last five or six weeks? Hands up. <laughs> All right, part of my job is to inspire the future accounting and finance elites and part of that is to show you when you go into real businesses and industries, you can actually see, you can see accounting at work because for the average student, you are told that accounting is it's a back office operation and then the accounting feeds into the financial reporting and here are the standards you have to follow. Wow, what a boring life. It is a misconception that we think all accounting is. Accounting is much more than that, but it's up to us as our teachers, the university professors, to inspire you and show you what accounting is really about. And I have been very fortunate in the last 19 years to live in Hong Kong. How many of you have been to Hong Kong? Fantastic, love it. Okay, so what does that mean? If you live in Hong Kong, what is Hong Kong known for? It's known for finance, and it's also known for trade. Finance and trade. Ah, what does trade need? Financing. What does finance need? Lots of transactions. So this is why being in Hong Kong, I have, I looked across the border and I saw a lot of factories gone through a lot of change. Factories that are struggling. Factories that are, do not know how to change. They do not know how to pivot and adjust to the real world circumstances around the world. Now today, your professor is going to introduce to you a new topic associated with cost accounting. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. I like, I want that. I, w I want to hear that in the audience. That's energy. Now, for the factory, cost accounting is critical to, for survival. Cost accounting is critical for sustainability. Cost accounting is something that Bloomberg doesn't talk about, CNN doesn't talk about, the Wall Street Journal doesn't talk about. They're always talking about revenues, top line, new markets. Am I right? Yeah. They never ever talk about how does Apple manage its costs? They never talk about how does HTC manage its costs? How, do, how are factories managed? How, how are their costs managed? Because if that is not managed, it doesn't matter, you can have all the revenue in the world and you will not make money. You will go bankrupt. So every time you go out into the the BRT, you see these 20 things of sustainability, is that right? Yes. Okay. You, did you know the key to sustainability is cost management? If you can't manage costs, how can you be sustainable? So what I want to show you is some of the things that I've learned going into factories. Just to show you how cost accounting can be sexy and how cost accounting can work and you can use that to benefit the organisation you work for, even if you are not an accountant. So, I want you to write down three things. Pen and paper, do you know what a pen looks like? A pen, all right, you've got the computers here. All right, all right. Three things that can help any factory improve 
overnight. Improve their costs overnight. You ready? Number one is cut administration. Administration do, does not add value. Okay, number one, cut administration. Cut. Fire. You're gone. Okay, replace it with software, replace it with AI, replace it with Salesforce type customer relationship management software. Okay, that's a big thing that's been happening around the world. Number two, number two, are you ready? Number two, first is cut administration. Number two is cut inventory. The biggest challenge for any factories is having too much inventory. Inventory, the cost of inventory on average is the value of the inventory multiplied by 25%. So if you have, if you're carrying $1 million of inventory every year, that's costing you 250,000 a year in opportunity cost. That, that 1 million could be used for something else. Are you with me here? All right? So inventory, cut inventory. And number three is improve process efficiency. Find ways to do things smarter, faster, without waste, cut waste in the process. In other words, don't make, don't make rubbish components, don't make rejects because you cannot sell rejects. Do not do that. So, let me show you some examples of the factories I've gone into. I want you to keep in mind those three things. Cut administration, cut, what's the second one? Inventory. Number three, process improvement. Okay, find ways to do things more efficiently inside. Ah, okay, so let's have a look. Here are two factories that I went into recently. Here are two factories, and you're probably thinking, wow, all supplies in China or in developing countries, they're all the same. They just make big volume and they just pump out rubbish. No, no, no. This factory at the top, they're making car audio gear, and they just produce all this inventory. They have $2 million worth of inventory every year, US dollars, in the hallways. You'll see it in a minute. When the clients ring up, customers ring up, they want the audio for their car, their manufacturers, then they put the software in and ship it out to customers. That's their business model. This company's making money. Look at all that inventory. Look at all that. Waste. Okay? But it's still making money. This one here is making money by making little USBs. Do you know what US... You've got USB, right? Okay. Some of these USBs, many of these USBs do not work, but it doesn't matter because they are selling to corporates, gifts, associations. If you get a USB as a gift, do you care if it works or not? No, it doesn't matter. Do you complain? No, you just throw it in the bin. This company is what supplies all those gift USBs. They're making money, selling three million of them every year. All right? There are factories in developing countries, mine is China, that are making money. You've got to find out what is their business model. How can they make money? But can they make more money by cutting costs? I, my advice to this factory here is to cut down the amount of inventory you're carrying. Cut that, cut that two million inventory down to one million. At least save you some 25% of that cost every year. All right. And this one here, I say, look, why don't you start separation so you have better processes, so you have less rejects. Even though it doesn't matter to their business model, it is a sustainable strategy because they will get found out in time. Ah, okay. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going in factory to try and help. Now, if all of you have gone to a trade show, here are two different products. Here's a very cheap headphone. That's Patience. Patience. Say hello to Patience. Yes. Green glasses. Lovely. All right. And then we have uh, Aoni over here. More expensive headphones. Now, when people are buying from factories, they want a price, 650 FOB. FOB means free on board. That is how much it costs, how much you are paying for that factory to bring it to the port in Hong Kong, in Shenzhen, in Shanghai, to be shipped to wherever you want it shipped to. 
Okay, so all of you can go online today and actually order these products and then get it shipped to your Amazon account and start selling tomorrow. You can all do that. You have the power with your technology. Okay, what, you, what I do is I go into these factories and talk to them about what is their model, how can they improve their costs so they can be more sustainable in the long term. All right, so we have a very expensive factory here, very cheap factory. And so it's a different strategy why you want to have a expensive headphones. Like these, the ANC 22518 FOV for these are much more expensive than these headphones here. So what do I do? Well, we need to go into the factory, right? Here's the factory and a big difference between this is what you're paying for. This is why you pay 650 for that cheap headphone because this is the assembly line of that headphone over here. Why do you pay 1850 up to 3850 FOB for the other headphone? It's because you're going into the state of the art facilities here. Okay? In fact, different. The big thing you need to take away is when you go into developing countries, not every factory is the same. They're not all just pumping out rubbish in high volume. Okay? There are some very, very good factories in these developing countries. So look at this state of the art. I, I don't, I don't, any of you would like to work on assembly line? Anyone? I didn't think so. Okay, all right. Go. All right. But this is what we call that. This is why you're paying three times more for this product compared to this product here. Look at that. See those headphones there? That, that's rejects. All right. So I talked to the factory at the top. What you are doing is not sustainable. Okay. You need to figure out how to have less rejects in your management of that assembly line. That is what we call cost management. That is cost management. Okay? Cost management starts with the things that cause costs to occur. It doesn't start with your accounting profit and loss balance sheet. All right? It starts on the assembly line because that's where the costs are incurred. Okay? If you're in a restaurant, cost management starts with how many meals you are providing. Some restaurants around this area very poor cost management. Why? They're trying to offer you 156 different meals when you go there for dinner. No restaurant can sustain that product production and variety for clients in the long term. All right? Sustainability starts with cost management. Cost management is all about looking at the physical products that you have in place. Is there a better way to make those physical products? Ah. Wow, hands up if you're excited about cost management now. Some of you, good, I like it, I love it. All right, so just throw something at me if you've had enough, all right? Now, how many of you like hoverboards, anyone? Well, hoverboards go boom, they explode, right? 74 fires back in 2000 and 74 fires back in 2015, 16, 17, you know, around the world. Dangerous. Okay, so here is a good factory and a bad factory. So which one is the good board factory? The one at the top or the one at the bottom? Hands up for the one at the top. Hands up for the one at the bottom. The good one. We're talking about the good one, okay? Which one? Which one is the better hoverboard factory? The one at the top or the one at the bottom? The good one, not the bad one, okay? Hands up for the top, hands up for the bottom, okay? So we could ask that in a larger class, more time, I can ask you, why do you think that? Well, notice we have state-of-the-art production assembly line here. Every operator is just doing one little part of those 90 steps in the process. Here, you've got one operator that memorises and knows how to do those 90 steps all in their mind. They know how to do that themselves. One person. Okay? This is not sustainable. Alright? This can look at that. That is that is out of control. Okay? Alright? So this will result in poor quality products. Poor quality products you cannot sell, therefore your costs go up. Therefore, you make less money. Therefore, you may close down. See? The lack of attention to the process 
can lead to unsustainable, unsustainable business. Ah, wow. Okay. The one at the top, we have a efficient process and everyone is doing step by step by step, full quality control. Okay? So cost management is about managing the process. Remember the three things that you need to reduce costs. What were they? Reduce inventory, cut administration, improve the process. Okay? Very poor process. Okay? Very good process here. Okay. All right. Now, uh, another area where a lot of factories make a lot of mistakes in is when things come into the factory, they do not check or test the quality of the incoming materials. And so those faulty materials go into the product and guess what? The product doesn't work at the other end. Oh, we've got rejects, okay? That costs money, you cannot sell rejects. So good cost management is going right to the start of the process and making sure that we are checking things properly. Well, what does that look like in a factory? Well, here, here we have the same two factories and here we have receiving inspection for the really good one. They are testing every battery that is going into that 20 battery pack that goes into the hoverboard. Here, they receive a battery pack from another supplier. It's wrapped in blue and it says Samsung batteries inside. I don't know if Samsung's inside. You don't know either. They just print that on the outside. And don't tell me this is serious. All right, here's hard drive, it failed on me. What do hard drives say? Void, void if you open up the packet. Don't do that. Well, I wanna find out what's on the inside. I opened it up and guess what? It says Samsung on the inside. And this is not a Samsung drive, it is Seagate. What a load of rubbish, okay? And guess what? My other Seagate drive failed too, so I opened it up. And yes, lo and behold, Samsung on the inside. Okay? Pass that around. Okay? Alright? Okay. There are brands out there and factories out there putting stuff on the inside that you do not know. And part of that is a cost management strategy. Because maybe Seagate can go to Samsung and get Samsung to manufacture the inside for half the price of what Seagate pays to manufacture itself. You with me? That is cost management. All right? It may be fraud not to tell the customer that there's a Seagate inside, but that is good cost management. Okay? Remember, today is about cost management. All right. So, we finally, we want to think about Everyone has a smartwatch, is that right? Don't, you don't have a smartwatch? You have a phone, right? You have your smartphone, smartwatch. All right, there's a smartwatch factory. All right, one of these factories, one of these factories is a good one, one is a bad one. So which one is it? All right, which one do you think is sustainable? Remember, sustainability is about managing inventory, it's about managing processes, not having too much administration, okay? All right, that's all cost management. Which one? You get to choose. Hands up if you like the one at the top. And what about the one at the bottom? The one at the top? Gone! It's gone! It closed down! Three months after I went to the factory. This is the last video you will see of that factory. The last one. You will not see it again. So, are there any signals here? Yes, that's a big difference. See this? this is, these are operating procedures. They tell the operator at every pod, this is what you need to do. Step one, two, three, four, five. 
The one at the top, yeah, they have some of it, but they have nice uniforms, but they don't always have the standard operating procedures set out properly. Okay? Now, there were, I got a hint when I went to these factories why one was good and one was bad is because this factory here did supply to a Japanese major brand name, Sharp. You know Sharp? Yes. Japanese? Okay. The Japanese are very, very good at managing factories. So once I knew that supplier, this supplier here supplied to Sharp, I thought, wow, this factory must be good. Okay. And so you can see with their, they may not have all the proper uniforms, but they have all the documentation. Again, the theme of what I've just been talking about the last 15 minutes is sustainability. Sustainability of any business depends on cost management. Okay? Cost management depends on how do you manage inventory? How do you manage administration? How do you manage the process? Right? You need to improve efficiencies on those two, three areas. Then you can get cost down, then you can be sustainable and last for longer. And that's the aim of the game, to be sustainable. Sustainability is about cost management. Today's lecture is about cost management. Is that right? Cost cost, and we're talking about cost management, cost, volume, profit analysis. Okay, so enough of my lovely little factory videos. I will not have time to show you all of them because I've, I've been to 30 factories where we video everything from end to end. Okay, so some factories, there's one factory I went to, second time, and so we go all the way across to China this day, and the uh, representative came out and said, I'm sorry, Professor, but the manager is saying that we, you're not allowed video today. I said, sorry, I'm the professor, I only take videos. And so we negotiated, I said, okay, well, you're allowed to take video, but you're not allowed to show every part. So we, we went in and videoed different parts. So I'm one of the few people that go into the factories in China and then take these videos from end to end. I use that in my teaching. I teach strategic management accounting, which is a the unit in the accounting major. And we have lots of fun going through these factories trying to work out how can they improve their cost management. Ah, okay. So that's what I'm about. I just want to show you a few. I don't want to waste too much of your time. But I just want to show you that cost management can be exciting. Cost management can be exciting, but more importantly, under the Sunway Group, okay, sustainability is critical. Sustainable, you all know this, all right? Sustainability is important, any business. Okay. The big thing I want you to take away from my talk is, in order to be more sustainable, you need to understand what is driving the cost in the organisation. And if you cannot manage costs, yes, you're going to make it. You're in business today, but in 12 months' time, you'll be out of business because the competition is going to eat your life. And unfortunately, Bloomberg, the Wall Street Journal, and all these business newspapers, they are not talking about this area. When we hear Apple, it's all about their market share and they're making 240 iPhone, 240 million iPhones every year. Okay, you always about top line, the top line, the market and everything, but nothing about how are they managing the cost to be sustainable. Okay, so that's why you need to be more aware of cost management when it comes to understanding sustainability. Okay? Sustainability is about managing costs, managing resources. That's it. Okay? So that's the first part I want to talk about today. 